this series we'll build each kit from the Fantasy Village set by Battle Systems, discussing any construction pitfalls and build mistakes as well as kit specific build tips and possible conversions. Once everything is built we'll test a variety of methods to colour the edges of the terrain and then finally conclude with an in-depth overall review video of the whole Fantasy terrain set. Follow along and consider subscribing if that sounds like something you don't want to miss. If you haven't already, I recommend watching my introductory video to this series where I cover a few really key tips that will be relevant to this build and the others. Okay, so we've got the lake house here. Two sheets, both the same. Uh, there's a theme on these battle systems builds, which is basically start with the walls and the apex and then add everything else on, roof on top. So that's where we'll start here with the walls. Yeah, it makes sense to open the doors and windows that you want opened right at the start. Easier than trying to do it when the when the house is built. Quite looking forward to this one. I wish I bought a few more of these and made a lake town, uh, you know, like a lake town setup for Lord of the Rings. But you know, I could always get some of those later. Okay, there's the basic building. Yeah, like I said, there's a bit of a theme to these buildings, so once you're a couple in, it starts to become a bit more intuitive. So yeah, front front and back, or back and front, the sides. So there's some uh, extra pieces on this one, so because yeah, it's going to be raised up, there's like a walkway around the front and one of the sides, whichever you choose. And the floor's a little bit different, so Let's have a look at the floor. You see these pieces, which is a bit unusual. Having it in two pieces. I'm sure as we build it, we'll understand why. And then the bits that go around the edge as well. Okay, so these need to go together first. Apparently, you can only you, you can get away with just using one clip. So, going to do that. We don't need, don't need to use more than one, and we won't. Right now, we need, we need to decide which is going to be the front, so we'll just have this as the front. So we need a couple of T-clips and a couple of cross-clips. And where the, you use the T-clips on the back and the side, you're not going to have a walkway, so pop them there. Cross clips on the other side in the front because you know it's going to hold the walkway that's going around. Yeah, once the building's on top, that should hold that together, so I don't need to use a second one there, I don't think. We'll, we'll see. We'll take it apart and put another one in if we need to. Let's just go around carefully with this, I think. Ah, there we go, see. Get a bit ham fisted and do it wrong, and you, you can get a bit of damage there. See what I did there? Not really a design flaw on this material, more just me not being particularly careful, so I will try and be a bit more careful with that. Like I said in previous videos, don't want these to be ratty right from the start. I expect them to get a little bit damaged over years of gaming, but I'm going to have to blame myself if I don't put them together properly at the start. Okay, yeah, first mistake there. Now I'm looking at that, it's fairly obvious that that doesn't go like that. Takeaway from that is to actually watch the videos properly before you start putting these pieces together. I obviously didn't look at that video properly. So those are the barriers. What we actually want is this separate sheet, raised walkways. That makes sense, right? Okay, so those that I've taken off, they must just be scatter terrain. So we actually need these raised walkway pieces. Although interestingly, those bits of scatter terrain did fit on well, so it kind of just sort of shows so there is definitely an element of modularity here. Right, so... These are basically the wooden struts that go underneath these walkways, so we need to put these together first. And 
that will now go on there. You can tell that that's correct because this piece will fit here. Final one in there. Okay, so that's that's a walkway done. That is going to go in there like this. Now the other walkway is going to go here. Uh, apparently, these pieces are the other stilts of the house. So in there. Okay, that's that's totally making sense. We're going to need some more of those. Ah, that's where the two pieces that I took off originally off the main sprue, uh, not the sprue, the main uh, sheet, they can go on there. Okay, yeah, that's starting to totally make sense. Uh, we're going to want to build another walkway here. Those in nice and tight. Hear that creaking? Okay, pop that on there. That is starting to take shape now. It's pretty good. Ah, oh. ah, oh, yeah, there you go. Mistake there. So that piece doesn't go there. It goes there. Okay, so we got one more walkway to build. Didn't even realise that it came with the third one. Obviously, I saw it on the on the sheet, but I thought it was a spare or I don't know to be used with something else. I kind of forget because I got this on the Kickstarter that it is actually designed as a retail product as well. So pretty much everything on the sheet is designed to be used in the kit, seen as it is the the raised walkways sheet for the lake house. So I'm just going to build up another one of these. Ah, you can, see, you can see a bit there where it hasn't sort of uh, cut through properly, so yeah, I need to just knife that out, that's fine. Okay, now if that isn't to go, well, you could put it there. This is where it's quite cool, and I like the modularity of this. When you're playing with this, it could go, pop it there, put it there, or there, and there's a really cool little add-on at the end here, is some steps. So let's build these up. Oh, I just damaged that bit there. So yeah, again, just be careful popping them out. Another instance of needing to be a bit more careful. It's worth pointing all these things out because it's not mentioned in the battle systems instructional video, so I'm just sort of doing this quite quickly now. You do need to be careful. I'll just colour that in with a bit of brown, that'd be fine. Again, that's not really a, a flaw in the design. I mean, I guess you could say it. it's a limitation of the material, I suppose, rather than the design. And uh, also a limitation of my skills of not being too careful taking it off. So I will be a bit more careful. Yeah, you can't really clip that on there because Obviously that's a dead end, but yeah, if you're playing the game, pop it there, put it on the end maybe. Okay, let's get this roof built. I'll carefully bend these, and won't over bend this one. Yeah, the guys on the uh, battle systems instructional videos really make a point of reminding us not to over bend these to start with. Okay, these are quite narrow. Let's see how they go on. Oh, no, that's that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Nice, nice and tight, but not overly tight. I'd really quite like to have a look at the kit that these are stamped out with. The, the die cutters. They've got to be pretty precise. Okay, just gonna let those overlap a little bit. Pop this on the top. Careful there. Yeah, that's tight on the top there. 
very tight. Oh, you can see that's really tight. Try and get it on without having to cut it. Oh, it's very tight, that piece. Just holding it underneath here. You've got to be a little bit careful that you don't accidentally bend that loads while you're wrestling with getting this piece on. Okay, that needs a little bit. A little bit more bending, not much. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, we also get a little boat, a couple of little boats. I'll, uh, I think I'll make that when we do the scatter terrain. And some lakes. Now, just to sort of see what it looks like. It does look quite cool on the lake, but I'm thinking if you're going to be using this on a board, you probably want a few of them. Make like a proper lake town board, maybe use uh, like a, a, a seascape mat. I've got a Dreadfleet mat, which would look really cool with this. And you can have the whole thing is literally in the middle of a lake. One thing I can see straight away, which is cool, is that there's a square edge there, which is obviously where a river can connect. So we'll maybe look at the lakes and the rivers in a separate video all at once. Of all the kits, I think this is one where I might buy a few more of these and make a little lake town. Pretty cool models. Move up here, move around. Yeah, like I said, I don't tend to play games too much where you go inside the buildings, but that's really cool that you can get up higher, different line of sight, fit a 25 or a 30 mil round base or square base on there, no problem. Probably get a 40 mil on there as well. That should be cool. No problem there. Yeah, good stuff. Good kit, that. Let's have a look at the finished lake house on the tabletop with some of the other terrain. If you found this video useful, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Drop us a comment if there's anything in particular that you want to mention, especially if you think that there's something that you've found that would be useful for other people watching this video. Any build tips for this piece of terrain or the battle system system in general. I'm going to cover all the buildings in the village set as well as the ruined village so stay tuned subscribe if you you know don't want to miss out on those and we're going to move on to building up the storage barn in the next video